Agamanto. You may be surprised to learn that most people spend an average of two hours a week on the toilet. That's a lot of time. But after today, you may want to spend a little less time on the toilet when we talk about one of the scariest Japanese legends. This is the story of a bloodthirsty, evil yokai known as Akamanto. This yokai is considered to be attached to the last toilet in a row in public places. The Akamanto became so popular, even outside Japan, due to the fact that they're heavily featured in Japanese pop culture. They make frequent appearances in manga, books, and movies. Next time you go to the toilet, if you hear the creepy voice of the Akamanto, then be careful, you would be forced to play its game of death inside the toilet, and the chances of survival is nil. There are two popular stories that talk about the origin of Akamanto. The first story says that once upon a time, the Akamanto was a handsome young man who used to wear a red cape on his shoulder. This was the origin of the name, as the Japanese word Akamanto literally means red cape. Unfortunately, the man was killed in the toilet, which was an extremely humiliating death for him. After that, his soul sought revenge by hunting other people in the toilet. The second story suggests that Akamanto was actually a schoolgirl in a red school dress. According to the story, her real name was Hanako-san. She was a student who suffered from constant humiliation by her classmates. She felt extreme depression, sadness, and anxiety. As a result, she passed away in the school toilet. Her body died, but her spirit remained there. Seeking revenge against humanity for all humiliation she had endured, her spirit was trapped between this world and the afterlife. Her dark look is said to be able to freeze the blood of even the bravest people. Today, this spirit continues to search for her next victim. Akamanto usually appears when you finish doing your business. A monstrous voice will ask you to choose between red or blue toilet paper. Yellow! I'll take yellow, Charmin! Making the wrong selection will be deadly. However, there is unfortunately no right answer. Choosing between red and blue colors is more like choosing how you want to die. If you try to run from Akamanto, she will chase you to your death, so running away is not an option. If you choose the red toilet paper, then protect your neck, because Akamanto will gradually peel away the skin on your neck. You will feel extreme pain, then die due to the bleeding, which is metaphorically represented by the red color. But what happens if you choose the blue roll? The answer is equally terrifying. Akamanta will grab your neck to strangle you. You'll have trouble breathing, which will turn your skin blue as you die. That is what the blue color represents for Akamanto. If you're unfortunate enough to meet Akamanto, I hope you understand that you will almost certainly suffer a painful death. Even if you try to think outside the box and select a color other than red or blue, you will not be safe. An otherworldly passageway will appear beneath you and pull you into the world of darkness where you will die. On the other hand, if you refuse to answer by staying silent, then time will be stopped for you and you will be trapped in that toilet for the rest of your life. Feeling hopeless? You might be surprised to learn that there is a way to survive an encounter with Akamanto under rare conditions. One way is to calmly reply to Akamanto that you don't need any paper. However, she must be in a good mood for this to work. Alternatively, you can choose the yellow paper. If you do, she will push your head inside the nasty toilet, but at least you'll still be alive. 
And that's what matters most for many people. Just hang on! Hang on? Why didn't I think of that? 